This conference will now be recorded. Okay. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic that is invoice verification uh, part one. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover in invoice verification part one is enter an invoice referencing APO, post a simple invoice. Okay. Good receipt based invoice verification. Then we will see purchase order based invoice verification. Holder park an invoice. How to park an invoice we will see. Specify which updates takes place during document parking. Process a park a document further. And prepayment process. And the customizing of the prepayment process. So these are the ones we will be covering in the invoice receipt part one. Okay. So basically we discussed already invoice verification. So basically. In the purchasing cycle, invoice receipt is the last step actually. So they create the purchase order. Against the purchase order, the supplier supplies the material, they do the goods receipt, and after that, final step is invoice receipt. The transaction is Miru. So in our initial classes, we covered this, but from here onwards, we will be going in depth of this Miru, this invoice receipt function, in depth of uh, this one. Okay. So basically the logistics invoice verification is situated at the end of the logistics chain. That's what I just explained. It includes purchasing, inventory management and invoice verification. So it's a basically the last step. Okay. So during invoice verification, incoming invoices are verified in terms of their content, prices and other So basically vendor along with the material, he will supply his invoice bill. Okay. In that, the, the the accounting team, the in the finance department, there will be a accounts receivable department. So they will verify that invoice, that invoice for its content is everything is fine. Okay, prices and other information they will verify, and finally they will post that in the system, in the SAP system. So that is basically the invoice verification. Okay. The main task of logistics invoice verification is to complete the procedure of materials procurement by posting the vendor invoice and to pass on information concerning the invoice to financial accounting and subsequent application. So basically they will check everything in the invoice and if everything is fine, they will post it in the system. So that later on the payment can be done to the vendor. Okay, invoice verification is closely integrated with the components FI, financial accounting and control. Okay, so whatever we are discussing this invoice verification is fully integrated with the finance, financial accounting and control. It passes on the relevant information about payments or invoice analysis to this components. So whatever you do here, ultimately the information goes to FI, finance. Okay. So uh, we'll now we'll talk about the information in invoice. Okay, so basically a typical inv invoice will look like this. So this is supplied by the supplier vendor. So here you will have the vendor address, invoicing party. Okay, and the company address, our address, invoice number, document date. Okay, and it will have the purchase order details and the materials he supplied their quantities, okay, UOM and the currency and the amount, okay, and if, if there is any tax, tax percentage and tax amount, and this is the total amount, okay, and uh, terms of payment, bank details, all those things, normally invoice, we have. a typical invoice will look like this, okay, so this invoice vendor will supply, vendor will provide, so now the accounts receivable team, will check this invoice, they will verify it. If everything is okay, then they will post it in the system. Okay, so that's what. So that is a basically invoice verification. So when they post it, system will generate the invoice document and an accounting document. Okay, of course this we covered in our basic purchasing cycle. So the, the Purchasing department will issue a purchase order to the supplier. Against that, he will supply the material. Along with that, he will send his invoice. Then they will verify it, accounts receivable team, and they will post it. Okay. So
so now so now let's see this in the system basically okay so basically okay i'll i'll take the existing view okay this po is here right so it's already good receipt is done right okay so what i will do i'll take this po using this po i will create a fresh uh, po i'm creating a po ma 21 n okay what i will do just to save the time i will copy from the existing view okay i'll put the delivery date as today okay so this is a po i am creating okay now save it okay so po is created this is a po number let's take this po PO. This is a PO. Next, we'll do the goods receipt GR. Okay, we we'll go to the GR. Next, we go. This already we covered extensively in the inventory management. Good receipt, purchase order. Enter the purchase order number. Moment type is 101. Okay. Quantity, where, everything. Okay. Purchase order data, that's okay. Partner, batch, that's okay, batch. Now, what I will do, I will I'll enter the delivery note here. Okay. Delivery note MM training 1, 2, 3. This is a delivery note I'm entering. Okay. I'll, I'll show you the importance of this delivery note now check everything is okay now let me enter the date of manufacture okay check again and this is coming now okay wait now what is the material code it Three four five three. Just just give me So let's do me go. Still, it is taking huh? so maybe the problem from PV. Okay, just give me one minute. Expected this problem actually.
Let's do it. Let's see. Okay. So now let's let me do the chair. This is a PO, right? One eight three five six. Okay. So let me post it. Posted material document. Okay. This is a material document. Okay. And now the next step is IR. Okay. 